Yo, Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. I am going to introduce a new character to this show, or whatever you want to call it, Dominican Casey, who has wanted to be on this channel for quite some time now. Dominican Casey from Washington Heights, New York. He's going to talk about the Yankees. Unimprovised, I don't have the questions in front of me, so it's going to be right on the spot. Let's hit him up. Hello? Is this Casey? This is Casey Jones. Son of a bitch. I, I, I've been seeing you talking to my woman downstairs next to the Thai restaurant. What's wrong with you, boy? I'm sorry? Can you repeat that one more time? I've been watching you watch my woman's for quite some time now, taking down her number. What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> Hello? We are now live on the phone with Dominican Casey. How's it going, Dominican Casey? Pretty good in yourself. I'm doing quite well. Uh, thank you for having me on, on your on your interview for this show, for the NYYU <laughs> show. No problem. Hey, Casey, you've always wanted to talk about the Yankees. What do you think about the Yankees, these starting? What, what's the record now, two and four? They've played six games. What do you think about the Yankees so far? Well, so far, I mean, we're banged up with injuries right now. We're having 11, I think, if we call it Lewinsky. And pretty much the players need to step up the plate and, and actually compete, especially the replacements for, for the for the study roles that have already been sent down. What do you think about the decisions? So it's going to be, quite, about, um, be quite challenging. It's yeah, going to be quite you, challenging. What do you think about the decisions made by Boone and the analytical staff with the lineups and all that stuff? Well, for that, to be honest with you, right now there's a trend in MLB that the general managers are hiring managers that are non-experienced, and at the end of the day, they're giving the call of what they're going to, what what lineup they're going to actually have on a daily basis. They're going, they trust in their analytical team, and pretty much is a general manager to call. You see, I'm not a fan of Aaron Boone. Pretty much he had no experience, and my take was when I actually, at the end of the day, and I saw that Aaron Bull was hired as a Yankees coach, I said to myself, no experience, what that means is they're going to an analytical team and the general manager is going to choose their lineup. Now, Yankee fans right now are upset right now with these with these um, lineups, and, and I'm not surprised because right now they're actually hiring non-experienced managers, and they trust in the analytical team. I'm a big fan of analytical statistic data. But at the end of the day, when a player is hot, a player is hot, you need to put them in the lineup. And that's, that's what's trending right now in MLB. So you like the aspect of analytics, but you don't like the aspect of saying that Aaron Boone needs to make a decision right then and there, and he doesn't have time to talk to his 24 nerds in the tunnel. So it's a... Uh, Win-win situation with you, win lose. Well, well, at the end of the day, um, they chose a non-experienced manager to trust the analytical team to set this lineup, and the general manager has the end of the decision for that. In my my opinion, I'd rather have an experienced manager and then go by his call, not trusting the analytical team, be an experienced manager. But this is now we're dealing with a non-experienced manager right now. Now Aaron Aaron Boone is not actually making the call. It's the front office now because he do not have experience. Um, my opinion is I would have I would have an experienced manager and making the call over overviewing the front office, making the final decision. That will be my my take to that. So what do you think but about the, the Yankees? The yeah, the Yankees' problem with hitting with runners in scoring position that's been a thing for the past year or so. What do you think about that? Right. Right, right. With scoring, with scoring position, pretty much in in, in we're, we're we're injured right now. So pretty much, not right now, it's hard to tell um, what's going on for the for the lineup from here on. What Aaron Boone or the front office is going to um, dictate. Pretty much, they they don't have options. It's pretty much um, bring somebody up and, and replace them, and and we'll take it from there. And and my call is at the end of the day, um, I would have the hot player in. Like for example. Um, Sanchez, he was hot. Why are you benching him? Why well, he hits a home run the day before? I mean, back that, that's something. Right, right, right. I go for the hot hand, and I will over. I will overrule the analytical team on that end. But like I said, now is not is not his call. 
pretty much is a, is a whole team, a front office and a general manager, because he does not have the experience. In your honest opinion, do you think the Yankees are cursed at this moment? No, not at the moment. Um, <laughs> um, we there there have been injuries in the past. We have a whole bunch of injuries. I don't believe in those curses. Um, besides the Red Sox, but pretty much um, that's over now. When 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 it comes to that situation. But there's no, we're just having a tough luck of having injuries, injuries one after the other at the same time. And it's going to be tough in the division now when, when the starters are being out. So it's going to be a very um, a tough season at the beginning, and, and let's see if the Yankees can tough it out. I think the Red Sox are going to have a down year, but I think the team to look at is the Tampa Bay Rays. What do you think about that? Tampa Bay Devil Rays is pretty much a sleeper team. They actually um, look at Snell, Blake Snell, as we spoke before. He had 13K the other day, um, lights out. Um, they, they brought in the guy from Morton from, from the Houston Astros. So they step up in the rotation, and they have a very good um, um, bullpen depth. What do you and think about, talking about Tommy yeah, Pham as well? Yeah, talking about mm-hmm. strikeouts, so, what do you think about the Yankees striking out 18 times today? Um, um, we, we had a tough matchup right now, the starters. <laughs> First of all, from Detroit, and and yeah, maybe in my opinion is their hitting approach. They're expecting to hit a home run every time they go up to the plate. What do you think about that? That's that is not a good approach. At the end of the day, maybe because of the cold weather. I remember that they in the past at the beginning they they very they struggle at the beginning in April. Um, the Yankees never start with a with a hot start. If you could if you could see the past seasons. Um, when the weather creeps up, that's when the, the bad starts um, 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 getting hot. So let's see. I hope the weather goes up, and then let's, let's aim for contact hitters. Um, power hitters, pretty much we strike out a lot. We don't get on base, and we leave runners on, on base. That, yeah, but that's the same, yeah, but the same argument could be made to the uh, Baltimore Orioles, et cetera. They were playing the cold weather, and they managed to uh, beat the Yankees and even the Detroit Tigers. So. And they're not considered right. to be a threat to anybody. So why can't the Yankees? You do, do have, a, you do have a point on that. I, mean, I guess we were struggling offensively. Um, I guess they look at look at the scores, um, two to one, one to zero, um, low scoring game. We're not hitting, and the opposite team are barely hitting. So it's a low scoring game, and we um, we're we're taking the losses. What do you think about the Red Sox chances this season? I think they're going to have a down year. What do you think? Well, um, I'm not even sure to be honest with you. Um, they They're have one and five. the rotation. Yeah, the rotation sucks. is very bad right now. Um, they're the having. They look at sales. The bullpen is not good as well. Um, they need to sign someone, or, or they need to step up the bullpen. So it's it's gonna be the offensive is still there, but their their pitching and the bullpen, it's it's gonna be questionable throughout the season. So. I, I see them struggling to – that's if they're going to make the division um, to win the division. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be a battle between the Yankees and Red Sox. So in my opinion, the Yankees are injured, but they're deep. They have a deep squad, and it's, they shouldn't be losing these games because, like I said, you can make the comparison to the Detroit Tigers, the Baltimore et etc., that they're not a stacked team as well. And the Yankees, they're having the good starting pitching and the good pitching, but they can't – hit with runners in scoring position. Even if they have the stacked team with Stanton and Duhar, et cetera, mm-hmm. they still can't hit with mm-hmm. runners in scoring position. So the question now becomes, do they have to change their hitting approach? Because obviously we've seen it for a straight full year now that they go up to the plate trying to hit home runs and it just doesn't work. Does that fall on Marcus yeah, Thames, the analytical staff? Who does it fall on? I mean, if I, I offensive well throughout the, if you could see the averages of, of every of every player in the, the only person that's hitting is um, what's his name? But um, DJ Lemayu. Lemayu, he's the one that only is hitting. So as you, as you can see, every player is struggling. It's not just one player. Everybody's trying to. I'm not sure if they're trying to hit the long ball or they're actually struggling. Um, naturally they're struggling. So it's it's a team effort that they're not they're not scoring. Um, it's not t- changing approaches, just, you know, people, um, teams go through struggles. And right now we're, we're struggling in the offensive side. Yeah, but and when they, they need to get it together. Yeah, but when the analytical team puts out a lineup like you saw last game, 
Right. They left uh, Bird out. They left Sanchez out. They left so many players out. And LeMahieu right, was right. batting fifth. And he's always batting right. fifth, sixth, seventh. He should be the I, leadoff I hitter. Yes. So, in my opinion, yes, the that. analytical staff mm-hmm. has been doing a great job to start the season. Well, credit to the Yankees. They did store LeMahieu at the leadoff spot today. Um, if it's as you can see when they bench Sanchez, it's not Aaron Boone's um call. It's pretty much the front office analytical team setting up those lineups. And and if the offensive is not there and they're losing games, blame the front office, blame the analytical team. Because I know is that Aaron Aaron Boone is not actually calling the shots here for these lineups. So I'll blame them because um I, I, I'm not surprised. They 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 went for a non experienced manager and and they and the front office should be calling the shots for the for the lineups on a daily basis. So talking about the front office, etc. They obviously skipped out on Harper Machado. I know it's too late now, but Yankees fans are going around saying, "Hey, we should have signed these guys." Do they have the right to say that? I think, in my opinion, they do because the Yankees could have came out early in their off season and said, "Hey, we're not going to sign these guys," but now. We're seeing that all these players are going down, and Yankees fans are saying, "Hey, we should have signed these guys." And um, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing Yankees fans complain. What do you think about that? Well, it's like um, the flip side to that is like the gift and the curse. Um, one you might say because he's injured now, but let's, how about if Andujar would have been healthy and would have been on a streak? Yankee fans would not say that we should. We, it's good that we didn't sign Machado. So it's hard to judge. Because of this injury, if you would have been hot and do hot and still healthy, they would have said the other the other side that I'm glad we didn't sign Machado. So it's a it's a it's yeah, a fifty it's too, fifty on that. Yeah, end. it's too late, but I can't blame Yankees fans for going out there and saying, "Hey, we should have signed these guys." Look, mm-hmm. all these players are out. I think the Yankees front office has been a disaster for the past two seasons. First of all, when they skipped out on Verlander and went for Sonny Gray, they've been making these kinds of flops for quite some time now. And when do the Yankees fans hold the front office 100% accountable? When do you see that happening? Because we're seeing them start off with these ridiculous lineups and the analytical staff is two and four to start the season. Right. And also the media too. I mean, I don't think the media is going to blame the front office. They're going to blame Matt Aaron Boone and, and the players too. Because I they, think, got um, they got them paid off. They got them uh, the right, newspapers paid right. off. Right, pretty much, and, and and they get the free pass at the end of the day. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going to happen on a daily basis, how the Yankees going to fold, and see if they could get it together and, and start um, hitting because they've been struggling as a team together. So, so I mean, as, 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 like, a, as like, like I said before, um, Yankee fans, um, they might say that, but it's just something that happened to Andujar that he's hurt. So, Casey, how do you it's envision happened. the Yankees finishing off the season? What's your predictions of what kind of record they're going to have? Well, my, my prediction before all these injuries, before the season started, um, we're definitely going to have 100 wins, 95 to 100 wins, and then actually making it to the playoffs. But right now, that, that prediction is actually questionable because of all these injuries. So um, the only thing is, let's hope and see um, Wade could step up the plate and all these replacements. Um, Tim Frazier is another one too as well. And let's see if these players could actually could make an impact. So before I leave you, who's your favorite player on the New York Yankees? Who do you want to see have a big monster year? Who are you cheering for? Well, um, always a big fan of um, Boyd too. Um, I'm interested in what Bird is going to do this year, even though I'm not a fan of him. But I would like him to to um, make a make a step up on his on his plate, on um, his offensive side. So I'm interested on in those two on the first baseman side. Um, Torres is going to be Torres at the end of the day. He will hit 15 to 20 home runs, 80 RBIs. Um, he definitely can make some adjustments and and he can actually can get on base. Um, so on the right side of the infield, I'm, I'm very interested on um, what they're going to do. And those are the three players that I'm, that I'm focusing on, on, on having a breakout season. And hopefully Berger will get it together for his first time in his career. All right, excellent. Yankees fans, if you see Dominican Casey at the stadium with an NYY News t-shirt, stop by and say what's up to him. Dominican Casey, sure. it's been great. Casey Jones has been great having you on. 
We'll have you next time. It's been a pleasure. And um, let's get the season, start the ro- start the ball rolling and get his offenses going back together. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen. All right, take it easy. Thank you so much. Bye now.